What is up guys? Diego Techy Life here. Today we got a quick tutorial. Uh we're gonna be doing this Lincoln Aviator. Um so I wanna show you how to change out this air filter here real quick. Uh should take you no more than 10 minutes. Um we're gonna be replacing this vehicle with a KN filter. Uh let's see here we go. KN for the shaking cabin side. Right. Trying to open this up guys, sorry. So this one is for a Ford, uh, 332395. This is just a drop-in. Uh, it's designed to increase airflow, whatnot. It's supposed to be, you know, for horsepower and stuff like that. Um, the reason why I like these is because uh, it's a cheap, cost-effective, you know, replacing that instead of replacing that instead of buying so many filters. Um, and it, it does design; it is designed to have more airflow. So, more airflow uh, usually means that the engine can work a little bit better. Uh, it can suck more and make a little bit more power. Uh, anyways, so this is it. Jesus, how many boxes does it have? One sec here. Okay, here we go. So, by the way, this is not, uh, I'm not trying to, uh, what do you call it, advertise for them or anything like that, but this is uh, where the air filter is at. It's very simple and easy. So, if you want to get a flathead here, unscrew this, get another flathead, unscrew the other side. I want to say they're probably like a quarter inch, I think. Um, to remove these nuts okay so let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna do this tab here got one tab here uh, I believe another one is back here as well too we got two tabs and we can also remove the sensor just so it would be out of the way uh, we don't mess with that so we have the sensor out of the way the two tabs open uh, this is pretty much open here we can kind of wiggle this out a little bit here slowly and this is all done with one hand here. Uh, well, somewhat one hand. So if you can see, this one's tied in there, so it's not gonna move out unless I. Let's see if I can wiggle this to here. Okay, it's not gonna budge. I don't want to break it. Like that. So what we'll do is we'll kind of play with this here, back and forth. We should be able to pop this out here anytime soon. Give it some, let's listen to it a little bit more here. Maybe that's what it needs. There you go, yeah, that's what it was. So we can do that. And you see basically the inside. Uh, we just wanna make sure and inspect. There's nothing crazy going on here. Uh, I don't know if this is the original filter. It doesn't, not too sure. I should say probably a motor crap or something like that. But as you can see, it is a little dirty. Not a really a performance filter, but you know, we got some bugs in there and debris. So yeah, this has some crap in there. So it's a good idea for us to do this now. I'm actually kind of, I thought it would be a little bit cleaner than what it is. So let's go ahead and compare and make sure that we have uh, the same size, which yeah, it looks like it's the same size. So it should be good. So just be in mind of the orientation that you brought it out. Come on. And sorry about the shakiness. I should really get him out. <laughs> or I should just get a camera, a cameraman. All right, let's open this up. So this does come a little bit pre-oiled and whatnot. Kind of weird um, I guess we can clean the end tight here just to make sure we got I don't have anything nasty some leaves and stuff like that so, yeah anyways let's go ahead and drop this down in here slowly 
nice and easy. And that's it. We're just going to reverse the process here. Let's start with the. So we start with this side first because this is where the the dip, the little notch there, that needs to go in first. Just going to take some convincing here. Come on. All right. So that should be in. And at the same time, we're kind of dealing with this. Make sure you don't. Sorry about the shaking, this guys. There we go. Let's put the connect the sensor here. Come on, get in there, buddy. Should have really opted for a mountain right now. There we go, I got in. Let's push this in. There we go, that's in. Now we just need to make sure that this is in here. In a good spot to put everything. I'm gonna align basically the, yeah, there's no good space. Get in there. Let me uh, mess with this. I'm trying to get this inside this little tab. So let me get that real quick. All right. So there it's in the tabs now. Uh, now we're going to push this in here real quick. Yep. Push that in. Here we go. So now we gotta just tighten it. You don't have to be you don't have to be tight, like super tight, just make sure it's enough. It's nice and firm. Should be good enough, so should be it. You shouldn't see any of the filter and all that stuff. We should be good to go guys. So uh, sorry for the shakiness once again. Uh, this is gonna be for a What is it a Lincoln Aviator? Um, I didn't I didn't mention but it's also for an Explorer ST um, This is for Ford So anything that has a 3.0 liter engine, uh, I believe should have 3.0 twin turbo should have the front mounted here So yeah guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate the, the views and see you on the, on the next one. Laters